Well, I want oh, to talk a do. bit more okay. about Roblox, yes. Um, let's, I want to bring in our tech guy for this, <laughs> is Ray Huang. Ray, if you are a parent or a grandparent, you probably know about Roblox. It's a game for youngsters doing very well during the pandemic. I think you know more about this. So tell us, how, do we, how does the game bring in money? How do they work that? Yeah, no, this is an interesting play. It's a freemium to premium play that's coming at it in a multi sided network. You've got the people who are playing the game, you've got the builders and developers and creators, and then you've got their they've got an online currency called Robux, and they bring all three of that together for the tween market, and they've been actually picking up massively. Um, they've actually seen 139% in growth. They've gone to massive amounts of daily active users, and the idea with the game is like, you keep building on it, new games appear, it's a gaming platform, um, and it actually has been growing very fast, and they just added a Oculus capability, which is the Facebook augmented reality, virtual reality capability, to jump in there as well. And, well, and so you make money as people buy virtual currencies and Robux, and they use those Robux to buy other additional goods. And so they've got digital goods, digital services, and other ways to actually monetize. You've got, I think there are 31 million daily users of, of this game, Roblox game. And as I understand it, the youngsters play, they can play themselves in the game, and they can ask mom, dad, or granddad, or grandmother to chuck in some dollars to enhance their avatar, enhance their position in the game. I'm trying to get this right, Ray. Help me out here. <laughs> Yes, yes. And what actually happens is they're able to actually use those Robux, which are the virtual currency dollars, um, to actually enhance how they look, see what, you know, have, you know, let's say you want a new jacket, let's say you want a new glasses, let's say you want a new look, let's say you want to buy something around. Those digital goods and digital services are powering it, kind of like the way um, other virtual worlds like Second Life did in the past. And so what it's doing is basically creating digital goods and services but the growth has been big and it's one of those pandemic winners. But the kids can see themselves in the game playing with their friends. Is that right? Exactly. They can see how they play with themselves. Uh, they can play with their friends. Um, they have a virtual environment. Parents find it safe, especially mothers and uh, parents who think it's a tween, it's a tween play that's actually very safe. Um, and of course, there are also um, a lot of security controls that they put in place to keep the kids safe. Would you buy it? I definitely would. I actually see a huge growth in it because the multi-sided market that's there, the virtual currency aspect, and these tweens are going to take this on. So they're going after a targeted demographic that's going to grow with them over time, and developers have been picking up steam on their platform. All right, keep in touch there, Ray, because I need to know how to talk to my grandchildren about Roblox, and that's a fact. All right, Ray, <laughs> we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much.